guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter. I had my first experience ever playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I totally didn't scream. If you want to watch my first Let's Play, it's on my blog channel. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys will learn how to make your very own Five Nights at Freddy's erasers. These erasers are super cute, and of course, you can use them to erase your pencils. You can make any of your favorite characters, but for today, I am showing you how to make Freddy and Foxy. Before we begin, I wanted to introduce you guys to Lana's channel, and the channel is called So Easy. You guys can go there and see that there's so many different DIY projects, crafts, recipes that are absolutely adorable, a little bit of life hacks, and many other useful things. Her main channel is in Russian, but she also has an English one. She's super positive and her energy is pretty contagious. So make sure you check out her channel and her videos and subscribe because she is just super sweet and her projects are really different. Make sure you click on the screen or of course you will find it in the description box below. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Eraser clay kit. I got this off of Amazon. Rounded pointy tools and a cutter. For Foxy, roll a ball of red eraser clay and lightly make the top narrower. Make the ears with a flat teardrop shape and smooth them in. Make little dents inside the ears. For the muzzle, roll one ball of red and another of lighter red with the same size. Cut off the bottom and add them together. Put them on the face and smooth it in. Roll and flatten a teardrop shape for the whisker part. Of course, you're going to be smoothing everything in. Flatten the circle for the eyes, roll black for the strap around the eye patch and then place the circle on top. Don't forget the nose. For the body, make a chubby teardrop and cut off the top. Flatten a piece of the lighter red and place it on the belly. For the arms, roll a long teardrop, flatten the top and smooth it where the head would go. Remove part of the hand and replace it with a piece of gray and a tiny hook. For the legs, make two chubby snakes and smooth them in at the bottom of the body. Add details with the lighter red and now place the head on the body. Use some small strands of red to close the gap between the neck and the head and to make the pieces stick more firmly together. Now add yellow and black for the pupils as well as a small strand of fur on top. For Freddy, make a circle for the head and push between your fingers to get chubby cheeks. Flatten circles for the ears, smooth them in. With light brown, make the muzzle. And add the eyes, nose and eyebrows. For the body, you're going to do exactly the same thing we did for Foxy, then add the head as we did before. Make some black teardrop shapes and place them for the bow tie, then add a circle in the middle. Now for the hat, flatten a piece and put it on top of the head. Then push down an upside down teardrop right on top. Bake them according to package instructions. And now you can enjoy your very own custom Five Nights at Freddy's Erasers. All done! The winners for the super cute dinosaur resin pieces are here. Don't forget to contact me, you'll find my email in the about section. The winner for the Nyan Cat did not contact me, so it is now up for grabs. If you want to be eligible to win, make sure you're a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Giveaway rules will be in the description box below. Please make sure that you do read it. I also wanted to say a really big thank you 
to these awesome people who helped me put captions on my video. For the first time, we had 14 awesome dweebs help me out. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, especially Instagram. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.